Then the next step is that we're gonna have to set up our items to calculate the sales tax because now if I hit the plus button, when I make an invoice or a sales receipt, invoice, accrual method, sales receipt, if we're on a cash-based method, then the system can only apply the tax by the item. So all we have now are these generic items that were imposed or created by QuickBooks. Let's make up our own items. So where are those located? I'm going to say no, don't save that QuickBooks. If you would open up the ham boogie and those are under the sales on the left hand side, all the way to the right, you got your product, you got your services. If you're on the sample company, it's in the get paid pay area. And then you're down in the products and services. And so then in here, I'm going to close up the ham boogie. <clears throat> so there's our items that the generic ones they set up to set up a new item. We can go to new on the upper right. I'm going to set up an inventory item because it's the most complex one and the one most likely subject to sales tax, but you could have a non inventory item. That means you're not tracking the inventory in the system. Uh, so it's an inventory thing, but you're tracking it not in the system, possibly tracking it using a periodic system service would indicate that it's a service item no inventory involved let's go with inventory because it's the most complex i'm just going to call this this inventory <coughs> in, <coughs> inventory sales tax what is this inventory sales tax for my example i'm not going to do an sku you can do a picture of it i'm not going to put it into a category initial quantity on hand a zero and then, well, let's let's put a quantity on hand. Let's actually put five on hand. That's gonna make a journal entry putting some of them on hand, which will increase inventory. The other side going to like opening balance equity most likely. And let's put this back in 2022 and January of it, let's say, and reorder point at zero. Okay, so then inventory, that's good. Description, okay. The sales price, let's say we sell them for 125 sale of product. That's going to be the revenue account. When we sell it looks good. Here's the taxable item. So it says here it's taxable. You've got a couple ways that it can determine whether it's taxable based on what you're selling, or you can go down here and it just says it's taxable based on location. It's kind of a generic taxable item. So I'll pick that. So that's just going to subject uh, it to the sales tax purchase information boom i'm going to say then we buy them for let's say 50 dollars. cost of goods sold is the expense account expensed when we sell it i'm not going to have any preferred vendor let's save it and close it okay so there's one other thing we got to think about and that's going to be the customer if there's any exceptions but before we do uh, this will be the enough to get us generally going so if i go on over and i say let's just make an invoice and say that it's gonna be for customer, let's make it customer two. I'll just make up another customer, very creatively named customer. If I do say so myself, my creativity is astounding, astounding. So let's make this, uh, let's make this as of 06, 15, 22, let's say. And then I'm gonna say, my inventory item is inventory sales tax boom so there it is so now the tax has been applied and then down here it applies the tax based on the location i got i got to click off on it so then it does it based on the location now we can also then i can apply my generic five percent that i set up here generic five just to make it a generic problem and you can also change the math down here if you needed to like if you wanted to make it a generic problem or the math isn't right for whatever reason, you can override it by going into here and then change it. You just have to give it a reason and uh, it'll do that. So that's cool. And so that is that. Now, before I record it, there's one other thing that could throw off the whole system. And that would be if the customer, for whatever reason, uh, is not subject to sales tax. So the item would indicate it's subject to sales tax, but the customer is not, or possibly the customer is subject to a different location kind of sales tax. And so then you can set that up when you set the customer up. So let's check that out. I'm gonna close this and go back into the sales center, sales center. Let's go into the customers and there's customer 
uh, number two that we set up, customer number two, and let's go ahead and edit customer numero dos. And down below, we've got the taxing information. So right here it says this customer is tax exempt. So you can make it tax exempt or the sales tax rate. Again, you can assign one of the two, you know, I've got these two rates that we assigned. So we could make this customer always be picking up the 5% instead of it being based on location here. Or we can say that they're not subject to sales tax, possibly for one of the reasons listed below. Let's say they're a charitable organization, for example, uh, and then say, save it. And then I can go back into making an invoice for customer number two, customer number two. And then I can say that this is gonna be inventory sales tax item. It's still subject to tax over here, but no tax is being calculated. So if you see that happening and you're like, what in the world, man? I've got the tax up here. Nothing's calculating down here. Why possibly your customer is exempt from taxes, even though the item says it's taxable. Okay, so let's go back to what it was before. Closing that back out, closing that back out. And then I'm gonna say, edit this and say, you're not special customer too. You're not special, your charity's a scam. I'm taxing you like everyone else. We're gonna say they're subject to tax, just like everyone else. Spent all that money, that churtle money on your vacation. I saw that. 